To add Phantom LUTs into DaVinci Resolve, make sure you're in the color tab. Then from there, let's click on this gear icon, go to color management, scroll down, click open LUT folder. From here, you wanna go into your Phantom LUTs folder and you wanna unzip all the LUTs. And to do that, just right click and then click extract all. And I'm gonna extract them right back into this folder. And you'll know that it's unzipped because now it doesn't have the dot zip. So go ahead and do that for the rest of these. All right, once you're done with that, go ahead and click all these. You don't need them anymore. Delete them. Next, I like to organize the LUTs. So what I do is I create a Sony folder. For the sake of this video, I'll name it Sony Phantom LUTs YouTube. All right, then go into the Sony folder. Add another folder. I do the A7S3, grab another folder, name it FX6. And then within each of these, you'll create two new folders, Airy and Film. All right, the next thing I like to do is I'll open up another file explorer. So now I have the same folder opened up. Okay, so now I'm in the Sony YouTube folder over here and, not, and then over here, I'm in the original folder. Okay, and then from here, you'll open up the FX6, Airy, and then on this side, you'll see the FX6 Airy. And then you'll see 33X, 65X, Atomos, and WRE. What you wanna do is grab the 65X, so the reason why you want to grab the 65X LUTs are because they're higher quality versions. So then from there, you'll just grab all these, drag them over. Then you go back, film, and then on this side, you go back and then do the FX6 film. Same thing, 65X, grab all these, drag them over. Then you go back, go back. Now you do the same thing with the A7S III. So we'll go back, here's the A7S III, Airy, 65. And for this, you wanna do S-Log3. Throw that in there. We'll go back, then we'll go back on this side. A7S III, film lights. S-Log3, film, drag those over. So now on this left side, if we go back to the very beginning of the folder, we can delete all these. You can exit this, drag this over. Now, all we have to do is drag this over into the DaVinci Resolve LUT folder. There it is right there. Minimize these. Back in DaVinci Resolve, click Update List. Click save, then up here, click the LUTs button. And there you have it. Here's the imported LUTs. So now you can switch between the A7S III and the FX6. You want an airy look, there you go. You want a film look, there you go. Same thing with the FX6, airy, film. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. God bless us. See you guys on the next one. Peace.